Good book. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No. What are you hiding exactly? I'm not hiding anything. Exactly. I think you are. It's of no interest to you, I'm certain. It's a book. I can see that. It's one of Varric's tales. Swords and Shields, the latest chapter. The latest chapter? Meaning, you've read them all? Not since this all began. We've been busy. She's read this one three times. You! I told you to stop spying! You read it out loud to me. I don't like the captain either. I never did that! It's literature. Smutty literature. Whatever you do, don't tell Varric. Maybe I should read that book. You? No! Why not me? You're the Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I see. <sighs> They're terrible. And magnificent. And this one ends in a cliffhanger. I know Varric is working on the next. He must be. You! You could ask him to finish it. Command him to... Pretend you don't know this about me. something Cassandra is waiting for the next issue of Swords and Shields I must have heard that wrong It sounded like you just said that Cassandra read my books She's a pretty big fan in fact Are we talking about the same Cassandra tall grumpy seeker like stabbing things Wait did you say the romance serial Oh she'll be waiting for a while then I haven't finished it and wasn't planning to. That book is easily the worst I've ever written. The last issue barely sold enough to pay for the ink. I was hoping to give it to Cassandra as a gift. Oh, come on. That's just cruel. Even the Seeker doesn't deserve that. So, you want me to finish writing the latest issue of my worst serial? For Cassandra. Oh, that's such a terrible idea. I have to do it. On one condition. I get to be there when you give her the book. You've got a deal. I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. What have you done now? I get it, Seeker. You're still sore after our spat. I'm not a child, Varric. Do not suggest I'm without reason. Uh, a peace offering. The next chapter of Swords and Shields. I hear you're a fan. This is your doing. I was hoping you'd be happy about it. Well, if you're not interested, <laughs> you're not interested. Still needs editing anyhow. Wait! <laughs> you're probably wondering what happens to the Night Captain after the last chapter. <gasps> Nothing should happen to her. She was falsely accused. Well, it, it turns out the Guardsman... Don't tell me! <clears throat> This is the part where you thank the Inquisitor. I don't normally give sneak peeks, after all. I... 
Thank you. This was everything I'd hoped. I know how you feel. I wonder if I have time to read the first part. But don't forget to tell all your friends, if you have any. Ah, oh, completely worth it. I was hoping we could speak privately. Are we not? Right. Of course we are. The flirting. With me. I've noticed it. Unless it is my imagination, which is entirely possible. If it makes you uncomfortable, I can stop. You cannot court me if that's your intention. It's impossible. Did you just say I can't court you? Yes. What of it? It's just a bit... formal. <laughs> and that is a bad thing? I cannot be properly courted. Is that what you want? No. Oh, I take it back. That is what I want. I want a man who sweeps me off my feet, who gives me flowers and reads me poetry by candlelight. I want the ideal. You are the Inquisitor and the Herald of Andraste. You cannot be that man. I didn't expect you to feel this way. I know what you see. I am a warrior. I am blunt and difficult and self-righteous. But my heart lies beneath all that. It yearns for these things I cannot have. If you cannot see that, then desist. What enamors you is but the surface. I can be that man, Cassandra. The world hinges on our actions. We face death at every turn, Inquisitor. That doesn't change how I feel. It changes everything. 